What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Owen and AJ Talks. I'm Owen Finch, and I'm here with... AJ Palant, and today it's Ben 10, Season 1, Episode 6, technically, of, um, like I said, Ben 10. This is called Last Laugh, and uh, Owen, do you want to guess when this aired? Um, yeah, this is going to be tough, so... Uh... <laughs> Because I was gonna say the last episode came out this date, but I I can't go based off that because uh, right this is out of production order right here. Um, yeah. So once you give it a give well, a guess, I'll explain. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna think. So there's um, I think three episodes that air after before this. You know, um, the last episode was I think January. Um, 28th, 2006. Um, so, I think all of February's... Um, I'm going to say end of February. I'm gonna, I have to remember... Uh, you know, it's really screwing me up if there was a leap year around this time, because, like, then... Oh, like, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. So, I have to remember what the leap year is. I think February 28th is the leap year, because... Uh, um, I'm going to say February 26, 2006. Probably not even close. You were extremely close. February 25th. Damn, one day off. Uh, I know, right? Was it a leap year? Yeah, what so... Uh, if, what if there was a leap year that day? I wonder if there was a leap year, that, and that threw, that's what threw it all off. Kind of. Um, I don't know, actually. But, um, yeah, so we are doing Ben 10 in production order. Uh, I've explained this to Owen before. Um, in the original Ben 10 show, it didn't really matter that much, you know, the episode airing, but, uh, in later Ben 10, like the sequels of Ultimate Alien and Omniverse, um, the release dates were horribly messed up and like episodes aired out of order. So like they would reference shit that hadn't even happened yet. And like things would get spoiled based on, you know, like future episodes airing before. Um, so yeah, like when we get to that point, we're definitely gonna have to do production order. Uh, but I figure, you know, might as well just do production order while, you know, all the way through, you know, like no, why, you know, no point in doing release order. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, like here, I think in release order, this is episode nine. Uh, it doesn't really matter, you know, if it's episode nine or episode six. Uh, I do like that it's episode six because as I explained to Owen, uh, the best episodes in season one are probably Hunted, Last Laugh, and Kevin Eleven. So having the best episodes like back to back is really nice. Uh, these two episodes match up really well with each other for us to do back to back to, because uh, as we get to at the end of the episode, there's a certain thing that happens that's a tease for later on. So it kind of worked yeah, out. Yeah, and there's uh, more teasing in, this, in uh, episode five. Yeah. In episode five, it was kind of kind of a a light one, but in this episode, it's like a lot more in your face. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, I kind of like again that we're doing uh. Production order though, just because uh, you know this is my first time watching Ben Ten um, mm -hmm. in order. Um, usually, I would obviously uh, wherever you would be at Ben Ten when we were kids. Um, we were, basically, we're, just kind of yeah, yeah, because I think you said you've mainly seen like Teen Ben. You haven't seen much of Kid Ben. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I'm happy that I'm kind of going back and uh, we watching this because um, I didn't even know. Um, Obviously about this plot and all that type of stuff, um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, sitting down and uh, watching this in order. But yeah, we're gonna have episodes like this. You know, this does happen in TV sometimes, where sometimes they wear things out of uh, production order. Um, could be just kind of one of those things. Maybe that's just when the episodes are done. Because uh, obviously, uh, you know, an example of this is uh, the most weirdest one I think I've seen is uh, Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. You know, the season finale uh, aired before the two ep other episodes, which is just, I think, the oddest one I've seen, just because, uh, you know, uh, now a lot of people kind of question if Drake and Joss even had a season finale because, you know, the other two episodes are kind of out of production order. Yeah. Jimmy Neutron had that issue, too, because uh, League of Villains, I think, aired before, like, other episodes of Jimmy Neutron. Um, and it was also really odd because, like... Um, you know, then they still did the crossovers with Fairly Odd Parents and everything like that, and that aired like and that takes place like after like League of Villains, uh, like the two and three do. So it just kind of makes it awkward a little bit because like, um, 
you know, because obviously at the end, the aliens get, like, tra- the, like, villains get trapped, like, in the past, but that they have to, like, explain that they got out of there somehow, which is just really odd. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, production order, release order can definitely, like, be um, mixing. So, generally, I think uh, production order is, like, the best way to go in most cases. And then, obviously, um, another big one is, uh, I mean, it's not big, but, like, SpongeBob Season 2 wears out of production order because that's kind of fucking up how I'm doing Spongebob reviews because I have to like look at like each episode because I've gone through so different s- streaming device orders. I went by wiki order then um, and now like I have to like check my channel now to see like did I already review this episode because it's so out of production. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, but, like episode lists on streaming services is like horrible. And like I was telling Owen like Pokemon has like a couple banned episodes which like caused like the order like to get mixed around and if, if that's a shit show. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Intended, and you know, and then we can get into the issue of prequels. You know, I told Owen like, you know, or the original and prequel trilogy. It's a big debate on which one you start with. Anyway, that's a whole shit show, but we're not getting into that. Right. Yeah. Here we are, Ben Ten, season one, episode six, last laugh. Um, I'm happy we're here. Like I said. Um, yeah. Cause so next... Owen talked. Oh, hmm? Uh, because I was gonna say before. Uh... You know, I actually start talking. Um, I'm looking forward to this because, like, you know, we were kind of stuck at this point with Ben 10 for a while because, uh, you know, um, the reason being is... So I'm trying to get my notes back up, so that's why I'm a little distracted. But, you know, but the reason being is, uh, you know, uh, obviously Netflix kind of screwed us over. And we can just tell the story now. Uh, then we just found out we could have watched it for free for Cartoon Network, like, the whole time. So we just basically wasted Yeah, literally, I just found out, like, two days ago. That um, the entire, not just the original show, all four uh, series are available for free on the Cartoon Network app. I'm like, oh, wow. Mm. But whatever. That would have been nice. Um, yeah. You know, but, it's, um, good, it's good to know now. Um, but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm happy, though, because we were kind of stuck at this point with Ben 10. And be, us being stuck at this point at Ben 10 kind of put us at a stopper point with both Danny and Avatar. So now that we're kind of past this point, hopefully uh, nothing can go on. And watch, well, so we're going to end this video. Um, and something's gonna go on. Oh, something's gonna go. Oh, you're second... frozen for me. Uh, you're not fo- am I, you're not frozen for me anymore. Am I still frozen for you? Uh, no, not now. You're fine. I like how it's like right when I said now that we're past this point, nothing can go on, and then we just had it started having Wi-Fi issues. <laughs> like that's yeah. just. Can we restart? No, I mean, we're good now. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. And um. Uh, I'm also happy we're at this point because uh, I'm really excited. Uh, when we started this sh- uh, these shows, big thing I was looking forward to, like our first milestone, was getting to Danny Phantom bit of reunions and Kevin and Eleven and Ben Ten, because um, that's like an, an an introduction for like two main staples in both shows, and they're both like weirdly similar but like different in really cool ways. Yeah, so we'll get to that. But yeah, let's uh, let's just start. Uh... Talk about this episode uh, now that like uh, we got all that out of the way. Um, so yeah, uh, you know we have uh, the code open. Um, the episode starts off with uh, we see uh, these two robbers, um, you know, uh, uh, basically stealing uh, jewels and stuff from. Um, they said like a yacht or something like that. They don't. But we never actually see like. What goes on? They're just basically in the middle of a lobby. They're about to get on their boat and just dip, pretty much. Um, and then and they're like, well, this like pier with um, you know, like a bunch of like carnival um, um, and like games on it. It seems like yeah. So then, uh, you know, uh, we overhear some uh, something underneath the water, which you know, obviously, you know, if you saw uh, the Kraken epi- the Kraken episode, um, the Kraken. I put a sweet life on deck on that one. Um, yeah, but, um, yeah, uh, if you saw the Kraken episode, you kind of know what's about to happen here. Um, we see, uh, Rip Jaws pop out and he starts attacking, um, the two burglars. Uh, I believe he, like, I like how Ben, like, grabs the first one by his head, by his head and, like, pulls him underwater. That and, like, the, re- the, the second one, like, runs up. But, like, we never see the second robber again. So, I guess Ben just, like, killed him, you know? We never see him again. Ben yeah. just drowned him. I guess so. So, that's a... 
I mean, unless he shows back up again, like in the show, that, that we could we could add it to a certain list. So. Yeah. He's going to show up five seasons later and be like, Ben 10, you tried to kill me as Rip Jaws, and now I've come back. Yeah. I'm that robber for that one episode. Yeah. But yeah, uh, uh, Rip Jaws starts uh, chasing this guy. Um, you know, uh, he's basically running all around the pier, and uh, he gets to a hot dog stand, and uh, he tips it over. And it causes, like, a fire to go around uh, Ripjaws. This was a really cool scene. Like, you know, he was basically, like, trapped essentially in, like, a red of fire, pretty much. And um, I thought, the, like, the uh, the art style of it looked really cool and everything like that. And uh, yeah. uh, AJ and I forgot about this because, again, we watched this episode together in person, like, with Hunted. And then, obviously, just shit happened. Uh, but when we watched this originally, we forgot that, like... There's a theme, like, it, it continues into the theme song, like, there's more to it afterwards. We kind of thought this all took place before the theme song, but I think the reason we probably yeah, thought... Yeah, old openings usually end before the theme song, like, uh, in Permanent Retirement, you know, they had that robbery, like, at, like in front of the ice cream shop, and yeah. that, like, that got wrapped up before the theme song. So, yeah, it was kind of weird that, like, the cold open lasted as long as it did. Yeah, um... And you know, uh, I think the reason AJ and I forgot is because uh, because we had watched two episodes in a, row, in a row, we didn't watch the theme song this time, so we did skip intro on Netflix. So that's probably why we forgot about that. We didn't mm, even watch it. Anymore. Probably. Uh, but yeah, it looks like that uh, Rip Jaws uh, is a little nervous about this fire, but that's not doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, obviously, uh, Rip Jaws can't be out of water for too long, and I guess here was too long. Uh, obviously they never give you, like, a Yeah, because I, I think the fire was, like, causing him to, like, dry up. So he's, like, starts saying water, I need water, and he, like, falls to the ground. You know, uh, we always talk about how, like, uh, I mean, I guess this would have been a bad time in a way. You know, the watch always times out in a bad time. This actually kind of would have been a good time in a way for the watch to time out because, like, then... Uh... Right, so, well, I mean, then again, then Ben, 10 years old, 10-year-old human kid, is surrounded by a bunch of fire. I don't, I don't know if that's exactly better. I mean, you know, I don't know, um, but uh, I'm just saying this would this wouldn't have been a bad time either, though. Like, it's just like you know, right, right, yeah. This definitely, you know, there there have been worse times, yeah. But uh, so then uh, this was a cool scene. Rip Jaws uh, jumps into the water, and you know, the wobble thinks like he has a chance to escape here, and uh, Rip Jaws like goes underwater, and he punches uh like a hole right underneath where um, like the portion of the pier where uh. The Wobble's uh, running, and uh, he no he knocks him into like a a carnival game like set pretty much, and this causes uh at least this Wobble to get arrested, and uh, you know uh, the cop is just having a normal conversation with uh, Rip Jaws. Um, I get yeah, you know, with like you know aliens in this universe, everyone's just like whatever, man. Just Tuesday. I mean, uh, they did kind of explain it later on, but still, like you know. I don't know. If right, yeah, here we a good example. Yeah. yeah, the cop says, you know, like, you know, you, you circus freaks are okay by me. And Ben, like, is like, uh, I'm not a circus freak, I'm a superhero. So, um, yeah. And he's yeah. still. And we find out the circus is in town, town. So obviously, this cop thought he was, like, with the circus. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I think the watch is, like, about to, like, time out, so, like, Rip Jaws has to jump underwater real quick, and then they kind of cut to, like, the next scene with, like... I kind of forget, too, like, Max and Gwen didn't, like, show up, like, doing this, like, wobbly or anything like that. I kind of I kind of thought they showed up, like, later, but, like, it cuts to the next scene, and, like, they're just driving in the rust bucket and everything like that. I kind of forgot, like, Max and, yeah. uh, Max and Gwen are, like, not even a factor into this scene, but... Uh, overall, I thought this was a good, decent cold open. Um, I feel like it was just there, so that way Ben could just find out about the circus... Like, that's, like, the only reason it was there. But it was still cool, you know. You got to see kind of uh, Rip Jaws do his thing because, uh, you know, um, we don't, as you told me before, we don't get to see a lot of Rip Jaws. So, you know, better enjoy them while we have them. Um, yeah, yeah. He, um, yeah, he pretty much peaked in his first episode with the Kraken, yeah. Um, he, yeah, you know, uh, here, you know, he, he, he gets to beat up two humans, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's a little lame. He almost got taken out by a hot dog stand. <laughs> um, yeah. but, you know, like again, he, he yeah. dealt with these guys fairly easily. Um, yeah, like I said, it kind of sucks. Out of the ten, he kind of gets the shit into the stick. Yeah. Uh, most of the most of the time. So yeah, enjoy him while I can. Yeah, uh, it kind of sucks too because I really like uh, the voice actor that plays Rip Jaws. Like I think he does a really good yeah. Rip Jaws has a really cool voice. Yeah. Oh no, uh, this is kind of like the first time you really see him on land. You know, because, uh, I mean, he was on, like, land briefly in the Kraken. 
Yeah. But um, you know, it's cool because like you know when he's in the water, he has like a mermaid tail. But when he's on land, he like rows like legs. Yeah, that's cool. So uh, yeah, kind of cool. We got to see like him running on land uh for this like oh uh cold open. And he's one of those aliens that's kind of cool that like Ben, you know, to hear Tenua Ben talk as him just because like he has like such a menacing like voice and everything like yeah. that again him being like i'm not a circus freak i'm a superhero you know like 10 year old ben would say but like he says it as a giant fish man with a cool voice yeah it, it's interesting yeah well just what i wish uh, uh danny kind of did when like danny would overshadow people you'd be like hear like jack with like his voice be like danny type of thing. yeah like, yeah I, I definitely agree <clears throat> yeah so yeah, as you said, um, that's pretty much it for the cold open. It just kind of, like, briefly mentioned, like, the circus freaks. Uh, next scene is uh, Ben, Gwen, and uh, Max in the rust bucket. They're driving through this city. Uh, we're never told what city this is. Uh, just, like, a random city. Yeah. Um, uh, but um, while they're driving through oh, it... Oh, we have to call this um, out, uh, you know, since it's a production order. Uh, they were in the desert last time. Here, they're in, like, you know, like a city... Like PO type of place. I mean, I guess that's fine. You know, like they, they this is probably like a, a couple days later. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't know if you can get there in a couple of days, but okay. Um, you know. I don't know. I mean, where were they last episode? Like New Mexico? Yeah. Especially I mean, since the, yeah. especially since the bus bucket was like trashed in like that episode, they won't get there in a couple of days. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. This. Yeah. It's definitely. It, it makes your eyes squint a little bit, but you know, I'll let it slide. Uh, at least in my case, um, I'm, not, I'm not letting this one slide. I, I figured, yeah. I, I figured you would have, I figured you would have actually not let this slide. But I'm not gonna let this one slide because uh, I think, the, I think the jump from the crack into the permanent retirement is way worse. You know, going from like a swampy lake to the middle, middle of the desert, I feel like is a, is a worse offense. Here, uh, I'm like, yeah, you know, they're probably in the same state, just like a colder part of it. I would have accepted it. Had the bus bucket not gotten trashed the last episode, that that kind of yeah, yeah. When you pointed that out, that that's a bit different, yeah. yeah. Unless Max is like really good at fixing shit. I know. I got, um, you know, I got, I got pretty damaged though the last episode, so yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and don't forget, sorry, Max, but it's gonna get damaged quite a few more times over the summer vacation. Uh, Poor Max, be- man. He's funding this summer long road trip with his grandkids, and his fucking truck is gonna get smashed a million more times. Yeah. This dude's bank account is going to be in the fucking negatives by the end of this. I wonder if he's right, because we're making a certain list. We could probably, you know, I wonder if Mike's, not Mike, uh, Max is writing a uh, an IOU list. Um, and when Ben gets old enough to, like, you know, help pay bills and everything like that, he's just going to give the... Uh, yeah, ben, like, like, Ben, this is what you owe me from that one summer vacation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that lasted, like, four um, years. Oh, God, yeah, I know, right, four seasons. Um... Yeah, so they're driving through and they see a, a, a poster for a circus. Gwen, uh, you know, is interested in going to go see it. Um, and Max says he hasn't been to the circus since he was a little kid. So, he, you know, he's excited for it, too. Ben's the only one who's, like, um, seems, like, you know, against it. Um, obviously, this is, like, a pretty big shift because he was just bragging about how he's been kicking butt. Yeah. I know he just beat up those robbers. Um, so Gwen's like, huh, why is he, like, you know, acting all weird all of a sudden? But yeah, anyway, the vote is basically two against three, so they end up going to the circus. Um, uh, BS scene I want to call out, um, because we called it out at the time. Um, uh, one of, uh, Ben's, because ex- Ben throws a lot of excuses of why he doesn't want to go to the, uh, circus, and Ben, like, said, like, it's late at night or something like that, and Max was just like, uh, Ben, it's, uh, 11 o'clock a.m. You look outside, it was not 11 o'clock a.m., it was, like, dark outside. Oh, yeah, when we're ben said about that, yeah, remember we bitched about that, yeah, when we watched it together. <laughs> we had to we're like, a- it is... Super dark outside. It is not 11 a.m. Yeah. It is either like four in the morning or like midnight. Yeah, um, I remember you had. A, I think you and I paused the episode when we saw this, and I'm like, yeah, that, it is not 11 o'clock. We like, wait a minute here. It is not 11 right. o'clock. And uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you have to get to a. It's a level. dark this whole episode too. Like, it, there's not an ounce of sunlight this whole episode. That's what Zambozo does. Maybe he's, you know, Zambozo takes the sun away. <laughs> takes the sun away. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, every time he goes to a city, everyone's like, "What the fuck? Why is it night?" Uh, yeah, that's another thing I want to point out. Um, because we often bitch about like, uh, what are the odds they run into like the villain that they of the episode? Um, you know, because they're like going across the country. Like, what are the odds they run into these things in like the short time that they're there? 
at first we were like, you know what, maybe it's okay because, you know, Zon Bozo has also been, like, hopping around the country. Yeah. Um, but, but then I'm like, no, that's actually worse. Because it's like, what are the odds these two groups are hopping around the country at the exact same time? Right. They happen to be in the same city at the exact same time, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, you see, like, it so seems like them didn't really stop here. They're just, like, driving through. And yeah. Zomboza seems like he was only here for the one day. So again, what are the odds? Yeah, it was it, that was a bit wait that was a bit too convenient. Um, yeah, especially too. Uh, you know, you see this a lot in movies and stuff. There'll be times where, uh, you know, a big example of that is if someone does like this big like, you know, thing where they have to smuggle drugs across the country. There'll always be a co what a coincidence. A cop just happens to be driving by like. The same time they happen yeah. to like be doing this and all that type of stuff. Like that's a big. Mm -hmm. I think where the Millers did that. Um, like they get picked up. I think they get like stranded somewhere and they get picked up by somebody. And what a coincidence! The person that picked them up was a yeah. The guy was like an over the agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you brought up the where the Millers. I love that movie. Um, yeah. So this was a pretty big coincidence. Um, yeah, you know they end up going to the circus. Uh, it's got a pretty decent crowd. Uh, no one's in the tent yet. They're outside, and they're, like, showing off the talent. Uh, we're introduced to Thumb Skull, uh, this big, like, muscly dude uh, with a toenail head. And you get bent and, uh, up. Yeah, he has super strength. Uh, we're introduced. I always forget this girl's name. Um, anyway, her power is she can, like, control her hair and, like, use it like whips. Yeah. Um, and, and, then we're, and then the final uh, circus freak is Acid Breath. Who um has very pleasant breath, Owen. How could you tell? But yeah, his power is that he can like melt things with his breath. Yeah. Um Well what happens if he brushes his teeth, by the way? Is can he even brush his teeth? Like I wonder how that probably happens. not. <laughs> like if he just brushes his teeth if he if he just brushes his teeth, um there's, there's this He probably power brushes power. his teeth with like garbage, you know? Yeah. So I pointed something out. Um I know we're saving this, but like I feel like the episode title is kind of obvious. Uh we do find out this uh the circus is evil and everything like that, and they're all like a part of it. No, but, how could you tell, Owen? Those three guys look such like such nice people. They probably volunteer at the animal shelter every town they visit. Hey, maybe that's their way of like making it, paying it forward, you know, so that way they can do all these bad deeds. That's like the way of making it. Up. Right. See, they're balancing it out. Yeah, but uh, I did point something out to AJ like right before we started recording because we didn't talk about it at the time because we just saw the episode, but then. Uh, so, originally, I think we both thought, like, it was just Zambozo that was doing the announcing, but I kind of pointed this out. They actually had an announcer. He was just a normal dude and everything like that, and, um... Yeah, it's like, it's like he, is he involved with, like, the crimes? But, like, I don't know, like, because he... We never see him again. He just shows up for this one scene, and then he's, like, gone. But, like, is he involved with any of this stuff? And then it kind of led to AJ and I, like, thinking, do they have, like, a whole production crew that, like, works Sam Bozo's, like, laugh machine and all that type of stuff? Like, who the... Like, are they a part of this? Do they know this is going on? Like, what the hell is... Uh... I don't know, right? You know, again, again they, they know about it, but they're like, look, man, economy's pretty rough right now. You know, I'm just happy to have a job, you know? It's 2006? <laughs> That's look, not but, my thought... My boss might suck people's souls, but you know what? What boss doesn't? Did, like, Zambozo, like, threaten that he was going to, like, suck their souls if he didn't, like, uh, obey his every command or whatever? Did he give him, like... Yeah. Yeah. Zambozo, he might be an evil villain who sucks people's souls, but he has great health benefits for his employees. That's what I was about to say. Maybe he's get, maybe he's, maybe he's got great health benefits. Maybe he's get, maybe they'll get make maybe they'll get maybe they, maybe they saw all those zeros and they're just like you know what <laughs> if it ain't yeah. if it ain't broke, yeah. don't fix it. Every time they go to the Robin Banks, they got to be making a good amount of money. Um, yeah. Yeah, and what we also talked about we're getting to it later, but it's like Zombosa doesn't really seem to care much about like the robbing the banks. So like, is the agreement like the circus freaks get to like rob the banks and he just like sucks people's souls? It'd be funny if, like, the whole reason they have to rob banks is so they can afford to pay all their staff and everything like that. That's why they have to report to all yeah. these robberies. Uh, I know, right? Again, that, that like, um, machine he uses to suck everyone's souls, that's going to be, like, that's the electricity on that thing. The bill has got to be enormous. I mean, he has to pay the guy to, like, even work the machine. That probably costs a lot of money. He has to teach the guy how to oh, use yeah, it. Oh, yeah, You can't run a circus with only four people. Zombozo has to have, like, great... Like uh, resource management skills. I the guy should have went into like um, finance school. 
I wonder how much a ticket was, by the way, because they never mentioned how much a ticket is. It's like, um, oh yeah, again, poor Max. His fucking bank account must be hurting. Um, this this road trip, man. Um, yeah. But anyway, they're at the they're at the um the circus. They see the, the three circus freaks. Um, Ben kind of just like um not runs off. He well, yeah, kind of. He just kind of like goes off to do his own thing, look around. Yeah. He's really not happy to be here. Uh, this is kind of the first hint that he's like afraid of clowns. Yeah. Um, and then while he's uh, walking backstage, he sees Zombozo like in his like dressing tent, talking to the mirror. And um, you know, Zombozo seems like such a nice guy. You know, he's getting ready for his big show. Uh, he's af- he, <laughs> but he's laughing like a villain. You know, very clearly evil. Uh, so funny thing about this because we were watching this on Netflix. I I feel bad. This first like half of the episodes, this is like a serious, like really good episode. We've just been roasting this whole episode for like what, like the first like three things we mentioned. But uh, yeah, I know. This right. one, this one yeah, like, again, it's like we're, we're talking shit about Zombozo. Like, dude, what what is your like? What are you paying your employees? No, this one is. How are you keeping the lights on? This one isn't Zambozo's fault. This is Netflix's fault. You're gonna see where I'm going with this. So you had me watch this episode with subtitles and everything like that. Um. And, you know, because you like to know everything that they're saying and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, Netflix kind of screwed up, kind of gave away that he was a villain. Because before we even, like, see Zambozo, it said on, like, Netflix subtitles, evil laugh. But he wasn't even, like, laughing yet or anything like that. So oh, yeah. Was kinda... yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To be fair, though, only again, when you look at that guy, do you see someone who volunteers at the puppy shelter? He wasn't even like... Sc- he wasn't even on screen yet. That's the thing. He wasn't even yeah. on screen. The Netflix, was... Netflix jumped the gun a little bit on that one. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, so basically Ben gets freaked out by seeing Zombozo, like, you know, Eve laughingly, even fucking English, evilly laughing in the mirror. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, Gwen actually, like, pops up behind him and, like, scares him. Um, and Gwen's like, why are you being so weird? And then Ben kind of, like, avoids the subject, because, you know, you know, Gwen, you know, him and Gwen are constantly, like, insulting each other. He's embarrassed about being a scared clowns. Um... You know, and I think this is actually a good episode placement because, um, you know, if this were, like, later in the show and Ben is, like, afraid of clowns, it'd be a little weird. But, like, you know, it's pretty early on in the show. And keep in mind, he's, like, a 10-year-old kid. Yeah. Um, so, like, yeah. you know, um, um, I think this, I, I do, think that's fine. I know, do kind of question being afraid of I do question it in the sense that, like, he also just fought those uh, hunted like, villains the last episode, though, if this is production order, it's kind of like, eh, I don't know, but I can kind of overlook it, because it's still early enough in the show, but maybe, maybe this episode should have been, like, here, but then, I, you know, then we have to, then the thing that happens at the end, you know, we would have to probably put somewhere else, so, like, um, the only reason I question is, like, if you didn't fight the haunted villains, because I feel like the haunted villains seem like they were kind of more scarier than, uh, like Zambozo, like uh Well I guess it's like and... um they're kinda like to the point. Zambozo is kinda like you know, with like the Hall of Mayor scene later. He's kinda like tormenting and like he puts on a show kinda. Yeah, that's fair. Um like the hunters were kinda like to the point. Yeah. But uh, I I think this again, I think this is like a, a fine fear. This is pretty early on in the show. Yeah. Um, like again, if this is like season four Ben and he had fought like a shit ton of villains and, like, you know, like, save the world a million times, it'd be like, dude, why are you afraid of clowns? But again, this is episode six, and he's ten years old, like, sure. Um, yeah. I feel bad, by the uh, way. Yeah. It feels like I've been trolling this episode, like, a lot, but obviously, but some of that stuff's not even the episode's fault. One of them was Netflix's fault, and one of them was, like, us right, just, right. one of them was just us just messing around and all that type of stuff, so, like, I kind of... Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, think, I think we made it clear we really like this episode. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they go into the circus, and um, and we we basically get Zombozo putting on a show. Uh, yeah, uh, and absolutely. you talk about this. yeah, um, but yeah, I, I really like the introduction to uh, Zambozo until Netflix ruined it. But uh, you know, Netflix is Netflix is Netflix sometimes, you know. Uh, okay. And I noticed too, right after this, Netflix decided not to log me back in anymore. So I don't I don't know what happened there. So um, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? But yeah, you know the the introduction to Zambozo was really good. Uh, I think I mentioned this, like, right away, like, uh, you know, when I saw that he was, like, an evil clown and everything like that, and, and kind of, uh, the way that Zambozo acted, I got, like, immediately, like, this was, uh, influenced by It and everything like that, you know, because it's an evil clown, um, obviously the difference is he, he kills, uh, his victims, obviously, uh, because it's a kid's show, they can't, Zambozo can't do that, you know, you're not gonna see, like, Zambozo, 
don't know if you're going to get this reference or not, AJ, but you're not going to see, like, there goes a whip off Ben's arm or anything like that and, like, kill him and all yeah. that type of stuff. Um, um, but, um, yeah, I was interested for you to see this episode because I know you're a big horror movie fan. So, yeah, this was an episode I was looking forward to you seeing. Because, um, you know, uh, I, haven't really seen, I haven't seen it or Pennywise, but, like, you know, I kind of, like, seeing this, I can tell, you know? And then, um, obviously, another thing I noticed, uh, this is very much the uh, inspired by the Freak Show episodes of Danny Phantom, you know, because uh, Zambozo's like the clown. Um, I don't think Freak Show's a clown, right? He's just like, he just runs like the... I think, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think he's a clown. He's, um, but then, like, uh, you know, like like the woman um, that we see, like, with the hair and everything like that, like, represented, like, the woman that had the tattoos. It kind of reminded me a lot of her, and then, like... The guy that can bend metal, uh, you know, reminded me of, like, the big guy that we see, like, you know, uh, I, get, I haven't seen that Danny Phantom episode in a long time, so, like, you know. Kind of yeah, the big the, muscular. Yeah, and you. then, um, I don't think, uh, I put, I, I can't think of, uh, who acid breath would have reminded me of, uh, because, uh, you know, it's obvious. But yeah, then, I, I, you're right, I do see the similarities, Freak Show and Zombozo both run a circus, and they both have, like, three henchmen. Yeah, um, I think the difference is, like, uh, as we're going to see later on, um, you know, it seems like the henchmen, at least in uh, the the Ben 10 uh, Last Laugh episode, it seems like they kind of go off and do their own thing, where, like, you know, obviously in uh, Danny Phantom, um, I think it's Control Freak, uh, it, it seems like, the you know, obviously uh, Freak shows, like, completely controlling them and everything like that, so. Um, yeah, here they're not really, like, mind control, they're just working together. Yeah. Um, oh, also, I forgot to mention it, like, the circus freaks, this is kind of the first time we're seeing that, like, regular people, like, can have powers in Ben 10. Like, like, they're, like, mutants, basically. Yeah. Because, um, like, uh, Dr. Anthony had, like, green skin, but, like, you know, he didn't really have any powers. Here we're seeing, like, you know, that's another cool thing, again, because I think we, in Danny Phantom we've said, like, you know, it's pretty much just ghosts. Um, here in Danny Phantom we're, and, and Ben 10 we're seeing there's, like, aliens... Uh, there's cryptids like the Kraken. Um, you know, we have Dr. Animo who's like, you know, like mutating animals. And then here we have like Acid Breath and like Thumb Skull and the, and the Hair Girl. They would, they just kind of seem to like have powers like they were born with them. Yeah, that that was cool. Um, but yeah, so uh, continuing on. Yeah, so the circus uh, begins. Uh, not really much of a circus. Uh, all that happens really is Zambozo comes out and he does like a little trick to, like, make everybody laugh. Um, and then, um, you know, obviously, everyone's laughing except for, uh, you know, Ben. Uh, Ben's kind of, obviously, because he's afraid of clowns. So he just kind of goes off and uh, does his own thing. He, he kind of walks off and uh, acts like, you know, he's just going to go get popcorn, but really he doesn't really want to be around all of this stuff. Um, and then, His fear ended up saving him, because as we find out, like, staying in the show is a bad idea. Yeah. Um, I do wonder, though, like, uh, it would be kind of cool if Ben did stay, like, because if Ben didn't laugh, what would it, like, would he, you know, what would have happened, type of thing, but we'll get, we'll get to that later. Um, yeah. And then, uh, you know, when Ben walks off, uh, and obviously Max knows this is that Ben's acting weird, and Gwen is just kind of giving Ben shit, being like, yeah, you're asking me why you're giving him shit, type of thing. Um, <laughs> it does kind of seem weird, though, that they're kind of talking, like, uh, you know, because um, they haven't been actually together all that long, so, like, again, this is kind of where it was kind of too meta at this point, because Gwen mentions that, like, they've been together for, like, a while, but I don't think they've been together all that long. Maybe they're together. cousins. They've known each other their whole lives. Yeah, but they haven't, like, I don't think they spend, like, large amounts of time with each other, from what it seems like, so. Um... Yeah, they have. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, they're the same age and they're cousins. Yeah, they've been around each other a lot. That's fair. Um yeah. Well, I I, th I think Gwen was just like making a joke. Like Max was like, "Hey, is Ben being weird?" And she was like, "Yeah, he's always weird." Yeah, that's true. And that was... then, uh, yeah, when Ben walks off, um, he notices uh, the other uh, villains um, are stealing and uh, committing a bunch of robberies. Pretty much, uh, you know, uh, Acid Breath steals like a radio out of uh, somebody's car, um, and uh, uh, the woman. Um, whose name we're never gonna, whose name we're never gonna know. Um, it's gonna be like Keita's dad, you know, great, so great that uh, she doesn't have a name. So, I know, uh, you know, but you know, she's never gonna match Keita's dad's level. Keita's dad's on it. He's 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 on a list of his own. Smiling, I love. 
that that man is more evil than she could ever hope to be. She robs banks. He <laughs> hopes dreams for his to watch his son, you know, cry. They are not the same. If Gina's dad was uh, in Max's position, he would have been laughing his ass off that Ben's afraid. Of, he would have instantly known what was going on. Be like, oh, he's afraid of cl-. He would have bought oh, yeah. into this circus. He's afraid of clowns. All right, little circus we go. The whole summer trip would have been circus trips. <laughs> um, but anyhow, so uh, yeah, uh, you know, she uses like her hair to like break into the uh, one of the to like a jewelry store and like steal a bunch of jewelry. And Ben notices this. So then, uh, you know, he starts using the watch. He turns into uh, Wild Mutt. He d- and he uses the watch correctly this time. That's good. You know, I'm going to make sure I mention that every time yeah. now because he fucked it up so badly the last... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We mentioned it um, in Hunted that um, in, the fir- in uh, episodes uh, two through four, something that really annoyed me was he kind of just kept, like, slapping it. Like, um, he, we, like, he wasn't, like, the animators weren't, like, showing him use it correctly. Hunted in this episode do a good job showing. He presses a button, turns yeah. the dial, then smacks it. Good job. I'm gonna be, hey, that's gonna be a, that might be a counter too. Like every time Ben uses the watch correctly and not correctly. So uh, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. But yeah, he turns into Wild Mutt, and um, you know, uh, obviously, uh, I think I mentioned this um, in this episode. What I kind of like about uh, you know when Ben uses the watch. Obviously, they animate it where there's, like, a big flash and everything like that. And you can hear, like, you know, the sound when he turns into an alien. Uh, the difference between, like, Ben and Danny. Because when Danny goes ghost, they act like they don't hear it. I actually kind of like that the characters, like, actually hear him change type of thing. I think that's really cool. Uh, Danny, yeah, they, they, like, see the flash and then they, like, hear the noise. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so then, uh, yeah, Ben turns into Wild Mutt. And he pretty much kicks all their asses. He does, like, a really good job of it. Um... You know, he, he throws uh, acid breath into a car. Um, he throws uh, the woman, like, through a building. Like, it's um, it's really good stuff. At one point... Uh, like, acid- like say, oh, not like the hair lady. <laughs> like, you just call her... Ben just grabbed a random woman on the side of the street and, like, fucking chucked her into a the building. Only woman, she's, the only, she's the only woman that's the villain. So, like, that, that kind of... Yeah, yeah. That's the only way. Um, that'd be funny, though. Like, you know... But, uh, so then Acid Breath tells, uh, what's his name? Thumb Man? What's his name? Uh, the other um, one? Thumb Skull. Thumb Skull. <laughs> wow, I, I really have a tendency to, like, make all the villains seem lame. Because I did that with Digger, <laughs> and I did that now with, like, I called him Thumb Man. I didn't even call him. Was, again, Cybernetic Crab Alien Man would have sufficed, but you wanted Digger. <laughs> yep. Uh,. That's what happens when you uh, write your episode guide notes uh, 15 minutes before you're <laughs> supposed to do the video. So, uh, yeah, yeah. You know. But yeah, uh, he has Thumb Skull, like, go tell Zumbozo what's going on. And, you know, we see that uh, everyone's laughing. Um, I think at this point, before this, um, Zambozo had revealed, like, his laugh machine. There'll be more on that later. Um, and uh, we kind of see, like, there's a bunch of, like, circles and, like, clocks and stuff, like, flying around. There's more on that later. Um, I really liked like the the writing and the art style of this. This was this episode was probably like the best art style wise for uh, Ben Ten. I think. Um, I agree. A lot and, of really cool visuals. Um, you know, um, Thumbskull comes up and tells uh, Zambozo that they're basically being attacked by um, a vicious beast, and basically, uh, you know, Zambozo has to abandon ship and kind of go deal with this, um, and. Uh, when uh, Zambozo goes over, um, all of a sudden, Wild Mutt, you know, isn't really uh, fighting anymore. He's kind of cowing in fear a little bit. And obviously, Zambozo uh, is kind of giving uh, his uh, lackeys shit, being like, this is what you were afraid of. And uh, even, like, uh, his crew members are, like, confused about this. They're like, uh, what the hell's happening? Because they were just getting his ass kicked a second ago, and all of a sudden now, like... Yeah, Ben was, like, beating all three of them pretty easily. And then, yeah, Zumboza comes out while it's cowering under this uh, big metal tower. Yeah. So then, uh, you know, um, Zambozo pretty much uh, gives the hit for all of them to basically finish off uh, uh, Wild Mutt. And uh, Zambozo, uh, you know, he, like, uses his powers. I think he, like, just did, like, a big fist and, like, started breaking the water tower and everybody else comes over. Acid Breath um, uses his acid to, like, melt the tower, and then uh, 
Thumb Skull uses uh his power to uh like just break it even more okay. and then um you know um the woman uh uses her hair to pull the tower down and the tower falls over and what I thought happened when I saw this that first was uh it fell and like you know we didn't like when it falls we didn't actually like see it land on Wild Butt so I thought like he just got away the last second type of thing like how they kind of typically do that in movies sometimes where like some a, a bunch of stuff will fall on somebody but like you it's revealed they actually got away uh but then uh you know the villains walk away because they've won the fight by this point um and uh the watch times out and no this uh, this water tower actually crushed ben um and yeah this is it's gonna start a new counter because we were gonna save this counter for later on, but we're like, okay, I didn't realize it was gonna happen this soon in the show. Um, there's a counter we're gonna start for when we watch Ben Ten. People that should have died that end up coming back. Um, and the counter's technically already started, but we didn't actually start it in that episode because we didn't realize that you know we were gonna have to start this yeah. counter already. Um, so this is number two. Uh, ben definitely should have died here. And AJ kind of tried to say, you know, AJ and I were both agreeing on, but we tried to try. He kind of tried to go back on it a little bit because, like, well, Ben was wild mud here, and I had to be like, no, Ben definitely should have died here. An entire tower fell on wild mud, and the reason I say he definitely should have died because if he was diamond head, if he was four arms, I could definitely yeah. see him living. I could see him living. If maybe not stink fly, I don't think stink fly would have lived, but uh, yeah. Wild Mutt got, like, crushed by a tower, you know, if... Uh, Man, was like, metal. Yeah, um, because Wild Mutt's meant to be, like, a beast type of thing, like, a werewolf, um, type of beast type of thing, like, even, like, a bear type of thing, he's meant to be kind of, like, you know, he's a, he's a bit more of, like, a mutant type of thing, um, he definitely should have died, because there's no, like, special power, I don't think that Wild Mutt would have had, that would have caused him to live, type of thing. Um, yeah, yeah, he's, like, He's, like, decently strong, but he's not, like, you know, like, you know, again, like you said, he's not, like, diamond head or forearms, like, durability. Yeah, no. Yeah, you're right. He definitely should have fucking died there. Yeah. Um, um, so, and, uh, as we pointed out, there's a few, um, people who definitely should have died beforehand. Uh, Gwen and the Kraken. The Kraken literally, like, face-planted the dock that she was sitting on. Yeah. And, no, again, he should be red paste in the water from that. And also, uh, in permanent retirement, um, the aliens that are weak to water, like a one drop of water can like like mess them up. They got a giant a ton of water like sprinkled on them. That should have killed them. And um, so this is another... number three. That's not another counter with the aliens because uh, we have another counter that like what it's that it's people that should have come it's people that should have come back that didn't come back or whatever that was at the uh, other counter. Um, yeah, yeah, because um, we're also gonna see like there's some people who like. You, the, the show is definitely setting up like, oh, they're going to come back, and they just, like, never do. And the aliens are... So the aliens made history. They're definitely the first ones to be on the list twice in the same episode, because at the end of yeah, the episode... They didn't die, but then they didn't die, and then just never came back. So they might as well just have died. But no, they just... Yeah. <laughs> that's not what the show's telling us. That's not, that's not how counters work. So, um... Yeah. But yeah. we're going to get another uh, really famous uh, should have died um later in this episode you'll see what i mean but yeah this uh i thought this was a good fight here though um you know i really liked uh how ben was kicking the asses but basically his fear it's basically what beat him in the ultimately at the end because um yeah like if ben was afraid he probably could have just like beat beat them all yeah yeah because i would think zambozo was powerful enough at this point to like probably beat up ben at this point i think it was mainly his fear that was taking him over and everything like that yeah so um yeah well, 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 like once ben like stopped being afraid of him like he beat him pretty easily yeah um but yeah i really liked this uh fight here a lot you know i liked all the villains uh but i like that we got to kind of see their powers put into use and again i kind of like that you know it showed that the villains are kind of off doing their own thing and uh you know i do kind of like too because i remember i even mentioned this that like time continued while ben was doing this fight because i remember i big them like okay I remember I even said this to you when we were watching on Netflix Live. Like, they they better not do this bullshit where like Ben comes back and everything's like still the same every once. Because there'll be there'll be times where like 
someone will like leave the scene of a situation in a TV show, and then they'll come back, and it would seem like no time has passed. I like that that didn't happen. Here. Like Ben didn't just go off and do this, yeah. and like time continued type of thing. If anything, um, a lot fucking changed. Uh, when Ben gets back, the entire circus is gone, like all the tents, everything. Uh, and there's only like a few people just kind of like randomly like kind of uh, walking around, but they're like you know like weekly. Like everyone's kind of just like in a daze. It seems like. Uh, when and then Max is like still sitting in his seat, uh, like on a bleacher, just like kind of like softly chuckling. Yeah. Um, and Ben is like freaked out. He's like, "What happened? Like, where is everyone? Why is everyone like being so weird?" And uh, Max is like out of it. You know, he's like barely even like conscious. And um, you know, like he's like, "I'm not sure exactly what happened," but uh, you know, they both kind of realize that Gwen is gone and Zombozo uh, took Gwen. And at first, you were, um, I remember watching this, you were like, what are the odds that Gwen got taken? But um, we cut to uh, Zombozo and uh, Acid Breath on the road. Um, and they mentioned that they uh, have taken a road snack, you know, for the, for the trip. And they have taken a, a bunch of people from the circus. And yeah. uh, Zombozo's basically going to keep feeding on them. So, um, yeah. And it, we're going to get the explanation from Max, like, in a couple minutes. I'll just say it now. So basically what happens is, um, you know, the circus freaks and Zombozo run their circus. They go from town to town across the country. And everyone who attends their circus, they pretty much, like, suck the happiness out of them. And Zombozo, like, feeds on it like a vampire. Yeah. And while he does that, the circus freaks kind of just, like, go around town, while the, you know, while everyone's at the circus and, like, rob the place. Like, steal all, like, all the valuable shit. I, I did ask this question at the time, but I'm going to ask it now. Do you think he had to do the kidnapping, too? Because, like, I assume, like, because, you know, he had to kind of, like, abandon ship pretty much. Because, like, I feel like if this, like if Ben didn't go off and do his own thing and have this fight, I feel like this circus, he probably would have just sucked everyone's life out of him pretty much. But I think, it felt like they kind of had to abandon ship yeah, a little yeah. bit. Um, yeah, because while Mutt showed up and, like, started say, fighting the circus freaks, yeah, he might have had to, like, leave early. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, because um, you mentioned Zombozo doesn't kill. Um, or, like, you know, like, on screen, obviously, like, Pennywise. But, uh, I mean, the implication that he's been doing this for a while, the implication is definitely that, yeah, Zombozo has been going from town to town, just, like, literally ripping the souls out of people and killing them. Um, yeah. I mean... Yeah. So... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that's still even messed up. Um, yeah, but it's on screen, yeah, he doesn't really, like, directly kill. Yeah. Um... But over, uh, I, but then you know, I did call this out later though. Uh, it was kind of a bit too much of a coincidence that Max didn't get taken, um, just because like you know, it was kind of uh, like eh, I, I, they don't really. I, it would have been better if they gave a reason type of thing because uh, you know, it seemed. I was kind of looked at it like Max is kind of old and where Gwen's like a young kid, so Gwen has like more energy to like take. Yeah, it was just kind of uh, you know. It did kind of feel, I could see that, but it just kind of felt like a bit of a coincidence because, like, you know. Uh, yeah, they, they should have like, made that more clear. Like, again, that's, like, me guessing, but, like, they should have made it more clear. Like, that's yeah. why. Yeah. Um, you know, because obviously, like, what a coincidence, because now Ben, you know, can, like, he has an easier path, pretty much, to go, like, find Sam Bozo now. So that was kind of a little bit too coincidental that Max didn't get taken. Yeah. You know, I get it. it um, it feels like the plot needed Max to be there type of thing, so that way Ben could get to the, uh, like, his headquarters and all that type of stuff, so. Yeah. Um, um but yeah, Max and Gwen, and Max and Ben realize they have to go rescue Gwen again. That's another counter. thing. Yeah, another counter. So it is a, it is Gwen getting kidnapped counter. Because we're only in episode six, but we have, Gwen has been kidnapped three times by the bird in, um, Washington, B.C., um, she got kidnapped last episode by the bounty hunters that hunted, and she's been kidnapped by Zombozo now. Um, I do want to add another one to the list. You can obviously, uh, this could be up for debate, but uh, when Ben was, um, you know, uh, Accelerate, and he saves her from the Kraken, she was pretty much in a safe place, but Ben still grabbed her anyways, and like ran off with her, and like just put her in a different place. I would definitely say that's that can, that can be qualified as a kidnapping because she was on she didn't really go there. I, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll make that a three point five. She's been kidnapped three and a half times. Because, because like I wouldn't say that's a kidnapping, but that's definitely like 
you know, I would qualify that as a kidnapping because she's being taken somewhere where she doesn't want to go. So, um, yeah, yeah. Again, we'll consider that 3.5. When anyone asks about the 0.5, we'll, we'll, we'll explain. What about four? Because uh, she's, uh, she's kind of forced to go on this summer vacation she didn't even want to go to. That can, that can happen. True. Yeah. Her grandfather kidnapped her. Yeah, four it is. Four it is. <laughs> yeah, she didn't even fucking want to be here. You realize that? Um, you realize, by the way, that's every episode actually, because this whole vacation is is so that we have to add one to every episode that's on here. Cause oh god, every episode of Ben Ten, she didn't want to be here. Damn it! Yeah, you're right. Um, so that's like yeah. what seven? Yeah. Oh god, yeah. It's, we're gonna be at a million by the time this fucking show ends. Um, yeah. So um, Ben and Max go after. Um, Gwen, you know, like I said, Max has had, like, the soul sucked out of him. Um, so he's, like, you know, like, he's kind of just, like, laughing, um, like, weakly. Like, even Ben's, like, why are you, like, laughing like that? Yeah. Um, and Max says, like, he feels so glum. So, like, he's, like, he feels, like, depressed and, like, doesn't want to do anything. But he's, like, still, like, laughing. It's pretty creepy. Um, again, I think this episode did a really good job making Zombozo, like, scary. You know, like yeah, as yeah. if I were I remember when I first watched this, but if I was a kid I was probably scared of him. I actually called um, this out too. I like I'm like, you definitely were afraid of this episode as a kid, I think, when we watched it together at the time. Like there's Yeah, probably. Um because I don't think we ever watched this episode together when you were a kid. I wonder if that was why, because you never mentioned Zombozo when you were younger, like uh, you know. Yeah. Um Um, yeah, I was probably scared of him. I don't really remember, but yeah, most likely. Um, because I definitely did see this when it came out. Um, a, I mean, you were you were afraid of Goosebumps, which was like a kids show. Uh, I definitely think this one is like uh, you, you yeah. definitely had you a bit afraid of this episode. Oh, probably. I was scared of Venom from Spider Man, so I was probably scared of Zombozo. There you go. Um, yeah. So um, uh, they get into the RV and they're uh kind of chasing down uh where they think Zombozo is going. Uh, I don't think they actually ever say how they know where he is. Um, yeah, that was kind of a bit too much of a coincidence because, uh, you know, they, they're tracking him down, but, like, there was no, like, evidence to show, like, how they knew how to get to him type of thing. Like, they were essentially, like... I guess, I mean, they, they are a circus, so maybe they just, like, knew the next town he's going to, so they follow him that way. Yeah, I guess. Um, it just kind of seems... But, yeah, like, like that's a bit of a stretch. Um, especially, too, because, like, I didn't mention, we didn't mention this, but, like, Ben didn't recover, like, it'd see Max after the fight. Like, it seemed like the, a, a bit of time had passed after the first fight happened, so it's like they had yeah, been... After he, turned, after he turned back to human from Wild Money, he, like, it looks like he kind of, like, passed out for a little bit. Yeah, so it seemed like some time had passed. I don't know how much time, but it seemed like they definitely had a good... Plus, I think, I, you know, um, I think Zambozo was uh, doing some speed in there because uh, they looked like they were driving a little fast, so uh, gotta have yeah. to, you know. I, I imagine they get pulled over by the cops. <laughs> Oh, that would have been funny. And it's that scene from Family Guy where, like, you know, they, like, point out, like, oh, you got you have kidnappers going on, and then, like, um, one of them just has, like, pot or, like, alcohol in the car, and they get, they're the ones that get arrested or something, but, yeah, like, not yeah, right? yeah, yeah, that's funny. Um, but, yeah, oh, uh, so Max in this episode. We're just freaking roasting. Yeah, we're kind of just memeing on it, yeah. It's a good episode. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, Max and, um, and Ma Max and Ben are chasing after them. Um, and, you know, th this is where kind of where Ben comes clean about being scared of clowns, and he's pretty embarrassed about it. But I like, you know, Max doesn't give him shit for it. Uh, he's pretty supportive, and he tells Ben, like, you know, when I was a kid, I was scared of heights. But, uh, you know, what I did to kind of conquer it was uh, I got sick of being scared, so I climbed, like, the highest water tower in town to, like, and, like, sometimes you just got to, like, scare the fear out of you. Like, you just got to, like, the only way to deal with it is face it. Which is a great message. It was kind of cool that that was Max's fear, like when he was a kid, knowing that what a, you know what he actually does, like behind the scenes and everything like that. Because yeah, like he has a fucking flying around space and shit. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, dude, Max is like the ultimate. Dude, his resume is insane. <laughs> um. Oh God. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, you know, this is good advice from Max. And like I said, you know, I think this fear from Ben is fine. It's only episode six, and he's ten years old. Yeah, okay. you know, I, I think that, that's fine. Like I said, if it's really like season four, and he, he was afraid of clowns, they'd be like, "All right, 
it's a little a little out of nowhere. Maybe even like end of se- maybe even like end of season two, I would even say something. Um Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is like middle of season one. I can buy that. Yeah. Definitely. Um Like Batman hasn't done anything too crazy. Uh, I agree. Yeah. But um it's at this point that like uh Max you know, like as I said, Max was kinda explaining to Ben that um that uh Zomboza it, it seems like he does more than um like like make you dreary or like he seems to like suck the happiness out of you. Yeah. Um and we get like a flashback as Ben asks him like what happened in the tent after I left. And we see like Max and Gwen's like souls and like everyone else in the circuses like get like sucked out of them and like go into um Zomboza's machine. Yeah, really cool visual. I really like that a lot. Again, the visual yeah. of this episode are tremendous. Yeah, really good. Um, you know, and I think it makes sense because, you know, Zombos is, like, not, like, a very physically strong guy. Like, he seems like he's kind of, just, like, just a guy. Yeah. Um, and, like, you know, he seems to mainly, like, his strength comes from, like, the machine and, like, the trippy visuals he, like, does on people. Like, again, once Ben, like, stops being afraid of him, he kind of deals with them pretty quickly. Well, um, we'll get to that later. It's, I don't think it's him, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I think it also matches what Max said, where it's, like, kind of, like, the fear is, like, the main thing. Once you face it, it's a lot easier. Yeah, so that's why I think Zambozo was, like, a good villain for him um, type of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and, again, I think that's yeah. why this is very It-inspired, because that's kind of, uh, you know, because that's why they're able to be It in the uh, movies, because they stop being afraid of him and everything like that, so... Um, yeah, um, like, and I, I, I haven't seen it, but I know, like, at the end, like, they laugh at him and, like, show they aren't afraid. Yeah. And here, it's kind of like a nice reversal where Ben doesn't laugh at him, but he just scares him even more than Zomboso scares him. Yeah. Um, well, you know, Ben, quote unquote. Um, yeah, I'm so glad you know about that because having to, like, dance around it would be a pain in the ass. Um, oh, yeah. 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 Um, so, but uh, Max, like, as he's giving this explanation, he, like, can't focus on the road. And he basically, like, passes out and, like, goes right off the road. And they're, like, uh, like, like off the road and, like, going through this big forest. And Ben has to, uh, like, take charge and, um, like, steer and, like, brake uh, the car. Like, while also, you know, because Max is, like, falling asleep on the wheel. Yeah. Um, and he saves them from, like, going off of a cliff, basically. Yeah. Um, I, and again, I, I like that this is Ben, like, in his human form, like, saving the day. Yeah. Um, and I think I pointed this out. It seems like maybe uh, once Ben kind of got the watch, if Max was going to be in this type of position, it seems like Max kind of, like, because Ben instantly knew what to do type of thing. Like, he didn't panic or anything like that. So it seems like maybe Max kind of taught him how to do this in case this Max does, Max does get into this type of position where he passes out at the wheel or something like that. So... Um, yeah, yeah, because Max, Max, we see, like, in the last episode, has been, like, training Ben and kind of, like, mentoring him. So, yeah, it would make sense, like, Ben, you know, like, if you ever need to, like, take the wheel, this is what you need to do. Yeah. Um, I like that. And, again, you know, so basically Max is, like, too out of it. He can't go on. Um, yeah, you know, again, Ben really lucked out. Like, in a way, his fear saved him from, you know, he left that circus early before his soul got sucked out of him. Yeah. Um. But yeah, basically, Max can't go on. Ben leaves him, and, like, you know, because, like, it seems like they're close to, like, Zomboza's new setup, so Ben's able to get there the rest of the way. Um, it seems like, but I think, I mean, I, I know we see him, like, there's, like, one scene at the end, but it seems like uh, this is kind of the last, this is basically, like, the last full Max scene we really get, because, like, you know, the, yeah. end, the, the actual ending of the episode isn't too long. Um yeah, yeah, the end kind of wraps up really quickly. But yeah, again, you know, this was a good scene. I like, you know, Max kind of leveling with Ben, telling him his own fear as a kid, and, you know, like, um, you know, telling Ben how to face it. I like that. Yeah, Max really, is a really good like, mentor figure in the show, you know? Um, and then uh, the end, um, you know, uh, Max Ben uh, goes to, uh, it seems like the the setting up uh, for a circus the next day, uh, you know, Zambozo and his crew and everything like that. Um, and Ben is kind of sneaking up in the back in the background, um, and uh, you know he inadvertently knocks over um, a box, and uh, he's about to use the watch, 
And uh, I pointed this out when I watched the episode. So the watch, I guess, like, glitched out uh, because Ben's not really able to use the watch at first. And when I watched this with AJ, I was just like, uh, the hell happened there? Like, because uh, I'd never seen this before. I'm like, did it time out? Like, what? Because I was like, wait, but he hasn't been an alien for a while. It's like, what happened? And I guess, I guess that's what, I guess that happens with the watch sometimes. It makes sense, I guess, you know. Uh, our cell, our cell phones and laptops sometimes glitch out for a second. I guess that happens with uh, the Omnitrix, I guess, also. So uh, Yeah. Again, I, I like how the Omnitrix fucking bugs out like an iPhone from Earth, you know? It's like highly advanced alien tech, and it like, you know, it's like it's like a laptop. You just gotta smack it a few times. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, like you said, it wasn't timed out. Like, Ben hit the button, it popped up, and Ben, like, went to slam it. And, like, it didn't go down. Like, the dial didn't go back down. And Ben had to, like, punch it a few times. Yeah. Uh, I like um, um, It's, like, kind of setting up. Because uh, in the Kraken, we saw that, like, sometimes Ben will get the wrong alien. Like, because he went to go rip Jaws and he turned into Accelerate. Yeah. So, again, this is kind of showing that the Omnitrix, like, isn't perfect. Like, it glitches out sometimes. Uh, I, that I knew, though. I, I just, this this one was new for me because I never, like, had seen this. I don't think, I don't think in, like... Even when I watched the old show and stuff, I had never seen this happen before. So I was like, what the hell was that? Right. So, yeah. I guess it's more subtle, yeah. Because, like, obviously he turns into a wrong alien. They, like, punk it out. But yeah, this is kind of just saying, like, same same idea where, like, the Omnitrix isn't perfect. Like, it kind of glitches out yeah. sometimes. Um, yeah. Um, but, yeah, you know, it ends up not being a huge, huge deal. Ben's able to, like, you know, like I said, smack it down after a couple hits. Uh, but yeah, also, I like how Ben acts like a normal 10-year-old again. Like the the Omnitrix isn't working, so his like response is it should to like punch it. <laughs> yeah, I love. Like, is it working? Even... So you like again, that's not even a normal ten year old thing. Ha- I do that. So I think everyone would do that. Like yeah. the same. Just like a normal person. I like that. I like that. It's very fun. Um, it'd be funny. To see, yeah, like, Ben. Turns it... It'd be funny to see like Bill Gags react if he got the watch. Bill Gags reaction if the Omnitrix didn't like work for him one day, he just rips it right off. It's yeah, cool. he's like, yeah, yeah. he fucking breaks it. <laughs> Uh, like all that work he did to get the army tricks and he just break and it glitches out on him like the first time he tries to use it or something like that and he just waits and breaks it oh <laughs> uh, that'd be so funny yeah oh <laughs> uh, yeah but uh ben turns into my favorite alien out of the 10 upgrade and i think we both said uh kind of like hunted where that uh, that was a better introduction to gray matter i think this was a better introduction to upgrade than we actually got in permanent retirement yeah he t- um and it was cool because you didn't actually like uh like see him like transform into upgrade because typically when Ben turns into an alien, like they'll do an animation where like he actually morphs into that alien. This time he kind of did it off screen, um, and you know I really like uh you know Ben as upgrades like uh voice. I think I mentioned it the last time, but we got to see it more this time. It's just pretty much like Ben, and they've like added like a techno like voice over like the voice actor and everything like that. It's really cool. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Tara Strong voices Ben, and she and she does uh, upgrade too. They just add like a like a techno filter. Yeah. Uh, but he uh uses upgrade to take control of uh. Well, Ben is upgrade, so I don't. Uh, <laughs> that was kind of a weird word in there, but uh, <laughs> it uses Ben to control. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. So yeah, but, Ben uh, uh, Ben adds upgrade. Uh, yeah. Takes over this like uh, baseball, um, like shooter. shooter. Um. This was really cool. Like, uh, you know, um, he shoots uh, the hair woman's uh, like hair to the point where it tangles her up. It was really cool. Um, I don't exactly remember what he does to uh, Thumbhead or whatever his name is. And he um, just like hits him in the head a bunch. Like but, uh, he hits him like ten times. Yeah, what he does to uh, Acid Breath is really cool. Uh, Acid Breath goes to like spit his breath at Ben, and like Ben uh, shoots a baseball right in his mouth. And uh, just shoots like, a bunch of baseballs like right at him. It was really cool. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I also like how like you know he's like jumping around as the uh, baseball shooter. Yeah, that was cool. Um, like yeah, again, upgrades one of my favorites. Just like seeing him control technology is like really cool. Yeah, that would be an alien. I think uh, would have benefited from like being around like in twenty twenty four. Just because I not that there isn't any technology back then, but like seeing like upgrade control like an iPhone or like a you know, like a laptop or something, or like an Xbox 360 would be cool. Like all this techno stuff, or like, you know, we have like cars nowadays yeah. that like have, that are, you know, worked by computers and, um. 
Oh yeah, yeah. There's a ton of shit nowadays. That upgrade would be so be so cool to see in patrol. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I make it sound like back then was like caveman shit, but like obviously we went like in yeah. The- this was, I mean, this was 20 years ago, you know, or more than yeah, 20 years ago, yeah, almost. Um, um but this was cool. Yeah, and then. Oh, uh, um, I also liked, you know, like, Ben, we saw Ben was, like, hiding behind, like, a bunch of, like, boxes with, like, shit in them. You know, because, like, we, the circus freaks, before Ben showed up, were, like, moving all the boxes, like, off the truck, basically. So, you know, I think it makes sense that, like, there was a baseball shooter in there that Ben could, like, you know, take over. Yeah, definitely. Um, um, but, yeah. And, again, I think Ben beating them easy was pretty fine. Because, you know, what, earlier as Wild Mutt, he, like, beat them pretty easily. So I think it makes sense as upgrade you know he wouldn't struggle with them too much yeah definitely um and then uh you know the watch times out and i like what ben says to the watch is like whose side are you on and he basically wage quits at the watch which is really funny (laughs) um, oh i love when ben does that like he just like yells at the omnitrix um so then ben kind of realizes at this point that he has to basically uh face his fears um and he goes into the tent and I like to at first he's afraid of his, of his own reflection because uh, we find out that like their lair is just basically a big version of a house of mirrors, pretty much, um, mm-hmm. which is uh, really cool. Uh, but like uh, essentially, uh, this is what the best way to describe what happened to Ben is he basically went on an acid trip uh, in the house of mirrors, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. Um, you know, uh, Zambozo is pretty much taunting him. Um, and he kind of talks about, you know, uh, how Ben's afraid of him and everything like that. Ben's acting afraid. And I kind of like, too, this kind of confirms, uh, like, Zambozo, like, earlier didn't even know, like, Ben was Wild Mutt. Like, he just thought it was just a random creature attacking. But he kind of realizes, like, oh, you have, like, this watch that can help you turn into all of it. I don't think he calls them aliens, but he kind of realizes, like, he, Ben could turn into all this stuff, like, upgrade and everything like that. which is kind of Yeah, because I think he says, like, was that your mutt who, like, um, gave my goons trouble earlier? And, like, what about that blob outside? Like, are you some kind of freak? So, like, I, well, I don't think he realized, like, it's, like, the watch and, like, that he's an alien. But, like, yeah, he kind of put two and two together. And, like, Ben can, like, turn into, like, monsters, basically. Yeah. And then, um... Yeah, uh, you know, obviously there's a, uh, this this is a really cool scene. There's a a good one where like Ben uh, is basically like doing all this like circus stuff and like he like falls down and like goes into like um, Zambozo's like mouth type of thing, but he doesn't really go into his mouth. But like that, they did like that kind of animation. There's like a version where like um, he's around like a bunch of uh, Zambozos like in the mirror. There's a por- there's a um, I think that happens to one where, like, he's trapped in a spider web and Zambozo. What's I really like this here? I thought they would have done something, like, goofy. I mean, this kind of was goofy, but, like, where he would be a big spider, but he was, like, a small spider, like, crawling towards him and everything like that, which I kind of like. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I think there was one I where, liked, like... I liked, um... Oh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Where he's, like, a, I think it's, like, a tightrope performer where he's, like, jumping across from, like, you know, I forget what they call him, but it's, like, it's some type of circus performer that does that, so... Uh, that was yeah, like, one. yeah, like yeah, uh, like acrobat. Yeah, um, I like the one where Ben's like trying to run, and Ben's like um, in this like kind of like whirl sphere, whirl sphere, and like Ben's like um, like he starts like running upside down. Like yeah, uh, yeah. I thought that was really cool, and like you said, the uh, the web one, like where Ben gets trapped in a web and Zombozo's a spider. Like I thought that was a really cool one. Uh, Makes me wonder how he's doing this. You know, like how did how is he doing this? Um, Ben just took a bunch like, of drugs. I guess... Ben just took a bunch of drugs. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah this is like, unrelated to Zombozo. Ben just is, like, has a drug issue. <laughs> and, like, you know, he's... Um, but, uh... Like, like, he's, like, on the ground, and Zombozo's like, what the fuck is going on with this kid? <laughs> um, um, but anyhow, uh... Um, he, he, he got into Grandpa Max's weed stash. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This episode has just been... Think about it. we actually like this episode, but there's half this episode yeah, with us so memeing. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyhow, yeah, uh, and, but the whole years was really cool. Probably the best scene in the episode. Well, um, almost. Well, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The one following it, yeah. Uh, but yeah, after the web scene where spiders on Bozo like cuts the web and Ben falls down, and he's um, they're, like in like the regular circus tent, and basically Ben is like on the ground. He like demands. He's like, "What do you want? You know, like, like, what is all of this for?" And Zombozo like explains his plan that he's gonna 
But like Max said earlier, like go to go from the town to town and like suck the souls out of people. And um, he says like he plans on it end up to eventually go to like the big cities yeah. of his circus. So um, I guess he's been going to like smaller towns, and then you know once he gets enough power, he plans on going to like you know the big ones. And obviously Ben's gonna stop him because you know that's gonna kill a lot of people. I imagine that um, like uh, again, I'm going. We've already been memeing on it. Like he's supposed to like perform at like a big city, but like uh, there's like a big like it, there's a big hurricane that hits or something, or like uh, he's about to get his big break, uh, but like a big band plays there or something instead. So like, ah, oh, yeah, we don't have time for you now type of thing. Like that'd be hilarious. Like, <laughs> yeah, then, it'd be funny too because the town wouldn't even like the town wouldn't even like realize that like them cutting like Zambozo like save their lives type of thing pretty much. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um again this whole episode was started because max and gwen were like hey let's go to the circus on a whim imagine they're like actually let's not go to the circus um that could be a coincidence then what a coincidence they decided to go to the circus that day like yeah yeah um well i pointed out earlier what are the odds that they like are in the same town at the exact same time yeah. um they went to the Vaughn circus yeah huh they went to the Vaughn circus they went to a different one yeah i know yeah, yeah, they just went to a normal circus. They're like, wow, what a fun time. Um, yeah, so, uh, and then, you know, Ben demands to know where Gwen is. And Zombos was, like, still taunting him. And he says, like, didn't you know she ran away with the circus? And uh, we see Gwen, like, off in the corner. And she's, like, wrinkled and old. And she looks like her, like, cheeks are, like, caved in. She looks like she's, like, dehydrated and, like, turning old. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's why I said earlier, I think, like, she he, she got kidnapped because she was, like, young. Because, uh, you know, like, it seems like it's, like, sucking the life out of her. Did everybody else um, die, by the way? Because she was the only one left. Like, did everyone else just die? That's what I was wondering. Well, I guess we see, we see after this that, like, all the souls went back to their, like, owners. So I guess everyone's fine. I don't know. Yeah, but, like... Um, the, I would, yeah, I everyone think, else... I think everyone died. Yeah, well, she's, like, the only one we see. Yeah, I don't know. Um... um what did Zambozo even know Gwen was his cousin, you know? What if uh, he's like, like, what if, this is your cousin, and then he, she, he like, pulls up, like, a different girl, and Ben's like, I don't know who that is. I don't know if you've seen the handover. That reminds me of that scene where they were trying to look for, like, the guy that was going to get married, and, like, it's revealed that, like, he got kidnapped. And, oh, like, they, yeah, like, like, Black Doug. Huh? Black Doug. Yeah, no, yeah, it wasn't even, like, him that, like, they went all through, they went through all this BS, and it wasn't even him. Um, yeah, yeah. I been... Yeah, I think that was the joke, like Doug and Black Doug. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. Again, we're just fucking memeing on this episode. Um, but yeah, um, Zombos. I like this, you know, because normally in an episode where like a villain's like monologuing, I'd be like, "Shut up!" and just, "Why aren't you killing Ben right now?" But um, I, you know, I think this fits with Zombos. We saw like he kind of like makes a show of things and he likes to like torment people. Yeah. Um. Again, this ended up backfiring because this is exactly what Ben needed to like face his fears. Because as Ben's about to say later on, like I, you know, I figured out uh, there's something I'm more scared of than you. Like I'm more scared of losing my family. Yeah, that was a good scene. Uh, I like that. That that ties into Hunted, where um, like Tetrax is saying the Omnitrix is the most important thing, and Ben says like not to me, my family is. Yeah, that was. Really um, I kind of kept you know, I kind of kept uh, continuity right there. Yeah. Uh, very consistent with Ben. Um, so yeah, seeing Gwen like about to die, basically. And again, it's really creepy. Ben's like, Gwen is on the floor dying, but she's like still like laughing. Yeah. Um, so basically, this gives Ben what he needs to stand up to Zombozo. And I like, I like how he name drops the episode. He says like, I'm gonna be the one who gets the last laugh. Well, I don't think it was him. So. Yeah. Well, let's get to the next scene that we're about to. Well, we've been hyping this up, scene up for like the next the last five minutes so yeah I know right so Ben transforms into Ghost Freak and again I like how Zombozo isn't afraid at first uh cause you know he knows about Wild Mud and Upgrade so he says nice try kids you know I uh I sell the I sell the tricks I don't buy them uh and then that's where I said you know Ben says there's something I'm more afraid of than you losing my family and um Ben, like, keeps going invisible, invisible, and he just, like, he really fucking lays him to Zombozo. He punches him so hard, like, his clown nose indents. Yeah, that was good. Um, 
And then immediately after hitting him, he, like, turns invisible again. So Zombozo's, like, looking all around for him. That was really cool. And then Ben like, grabs a piece of, like, plywood that I guess is around here and, like, smacks Zombozo so hard. He goes flying into his, um, like, happiness machine and, like, it breaks. And, like, all the souls end up going back to, um, you know, like, their owners. So, like, you know, Max and Gwen are, like, okay now. They got their, like, energy back. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, only pretty, and pretty much only two hits. Like, Zombozo's, like, done, basically. Like, he's depowered. There's nothing Ben can like. He, there's nothing he can do. Ben basically won, but um, Ben keeps going. <laughs> um, Zumbo, and I think that's at this point you could tell like this isn't Ben anymore. Um, because Zumbozo is like kind of like afraid, like his voice is shaking, and he like tells him like I'm warning you, like back off. But like again, he says it like kind of like his voice is shaking, and he seems like scared. This yeah. is more of like a bluff from him, and then um, uh. Z- Ghost Freak says, hey, do you want to see something really scary? <laughs> and he rips his chest open. And I like how we don't see it from up front. We see, like, the back of him. We see, yeah. like, a bunch of, like, tentacles or, like, under Ghost Freak. Like, some, like, eldritch horror is, like, some, like, real fucked up shit is under Ghost Freak. And, like, we, I like again, I like that we can't see it. Like, I think it's better to, like, leave it to your imagination, like, what's under Ghost Freak's skin. Definitely. Um, um, but whatever, whatever it is, it scares the shit out of Zombozo. Like he, he was like flying in the air and he like falls down. He well, he like hits his machine again, falls down, and on the ground he like crawls away, like is up and curled up in a ball, like horrified. Yeah, and he's like he's literally begging Ben. He's like, please, no more. And like, and then, um, hmm? I want to point this out because I don't know if you were gonna. Like, before what happens is Zambozo happens, like, Ghost Freak was about to, like, he wasn't going to stop. Like, he was about to grab Zambozo, and like, who knows what the hell else he would have done to him. Like... Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Zambozo's on the ground begging for <laughs> Ben to stop. And Zambozo's done. He's not fighting anymore. If this were Ben with any other alien, Ben would have stopped. Yeah. Um, But then, uh, Ghost Freak, and I'm calling him Ghost Freak, uh, you know, he's, like, flying high up above Go- uh, Zombozo, but then he says, oh, what's wrong? Are you afraid of old Ghost Freak? And I love, like, you can, like, tell Ghost Freak is, like, smiling. Like, Ghost Freak doesn't have a mouth, but, like, with his one eye, you could like, tell he's super happy with this. Yeah. Like, he is loving torturing Zombozo. And again, Zombozo's on the ground begging, and then Ben just goes, boom. Pretty and much. Zombozo blows up. Like, he, his head inflates, and he blows up in confetti. So before we uh, kind of break down the next, like, the thing that we're going to rant about, let's kind of praise the Ghost Freak scene, because I think we've been, like, waiting yeah. to talk about this for a while. So, uh, I love this. Um, last episode hinted at it a little bit, but it, like we pointed out, this is like, uh, you would kind of need a second watch through to, like, notice it. Uh, you know, when in Hunted, when Ghost Freak says, like, you have no idea who you're messing with, and he like ditches Gwen. Here, um, you you even pointed out like, oh yeah, that's definitely definitely Ghost Freak. Yeah, and there's a few reasons I knew like this was definitely Ghost Freak. Um, the biggest evidence I can give is obviously because Zambozo pretty much had given up like by that point, but Ghost Freak still continued anyways, tormented him. And we've seen before when um, a villain's like given up or whatever, Ben would typically like stop. The biggest example I gave was when the Kraken was about to kill uh, John Miles. And uh, it's, it's not his name, but... Um, it, is, it is in my heart. Yeah. But what the, Ben basically had to kind of stop the Kraken from killing John Miles. You know, because at that point, the Kraken had its eggs and everything like that. So, like, there was no reason for, you know... Um, the You know, John Miles pretty much wasn't a threat by that point. You know, Ben basically saved John Miles' life by that point. Uh, but here, it was not the case. Zambozo had pretty much given up. His machine had been destroyed. He wasn't a threat anymore. Um, but Ghost Freak still continued, uh, tormented him anyways. And, you know, uh, you could def, you know, um, I mean, I know we're going to talk about this, but the biggest thing that, like, you know, obviously gives it away is after, uh, you know, um, Zambozo blows up, Ben even says, whoa, that even freaked me out type of thing. So, like, you could definitely yeah. tell, like, something different was happening here. Because, you know, Ben even mentions yeah. that, like, after. 
uh, he turned back into human in a ghost week. But it was also all that stuff going on with, like, him being hunted, and he got, like, sprayed with cytoplasm or whatever. So, like, you could definitely tell, like, yeah. That, that, I don't know, that's still kind of subtle. But here, you could definitely tell there was definitely uh, something going on right here. Um, and being like, whoa, that even freaked me out. Like, And, like, I like how he, like, looks at his hands, like, surprised that he did that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's definitely, like, uh, that, that's definitely more uh, in your face. So, like, something's off with Ghost Freak. Ghost Freak's a little different from the others. Yeah. Because, um, as you know, um, Ghost Freak is alive. You know, Ghost Freak, um, like, uh, isn't just Ben. Like, he's, he's his own person. And, like, every time Ben turns into him, he kind of, like, takes over a little bit. Yeah. Um, and you know, yeah. this is why this, it kind of makes sense. We did, uh, hunted and last laugh back to back because, uh, you know, this was kind of the, you know, I mean, I'm just guessing here, but you know, from what AJ said to me, these are like the two biggest hints that Ghost Freak is definitely like alive. Like they, they kind of give you the two big hints right here. So it kind of made sense that we kind of did these back to back and everything like that, which I thought was cool. Yeah. So, and uh, like I said, um, I guess I want Owen's opinion, but like I said, I think uh, it was Ben at the very beginning, but I think after Zombozo's machine was destroyed and Ben like kept tormenting him, I think that was definitely Ghost Freak. I don't think that was Ben anymore. Yeah, I Or like if it was Ghost Freak like heavily like influencing him. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think once, uh, you know, Ghost, like, I, like we talked about it when we saw it in real time, I think once Zombozo started like begging for his life, I would even say, like, once his machine gets destroyed, um, mm -hmm. you know, I think the biggest hint, too, is uh, when, um, you know, he's taunting um, Zambozo, he doesn't refer to himself as Ben, he refers to himself as Ghost Freak, I think it's a big hint, too, you know? So, yeah, yeah. Um, I get him. When I think he's like, you want to see something really scary, I think that's definitely Ghost Freak. I don't think that's Ben. Yeah. And again, I, 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 had Zambozo not blown up, like, who knows? I mean, maybe Ben would have taken back over by then, but Ghost Freak was not going to stop. He was going to keep tormenting this guy until... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I bet Again, Ghost... Zambozo fucking blew himself up. And since we've been praising Ghost Freak, uh, I'm going to point this out. Zombozo is a big... They should have died, but didn't. And Ghost Freak is a... Un I mean, not Ghost Freak. Zombozo is a unique one. Because well, Owen unique, is familiar with... Not as unique as... Uh, I don't know I don't know what's well, going on. Uh, before we even started Ben 10, uh, there was one character that we're going to get to in Alien Force. It was in the guessing where Owen was like, yeah, we're, yeah, I'll just say it's Simeon, where, like, the, episode, the end of the episode ends, and, like, he is super dead. Like, he had acid poured into his brain. He's dead. And then I'm like, and then you were like, oh, yeah, I remember the spider monkey guy died. I'm like, no, he didn't. <laughs> well, he did, but then he just comes back, and no one questions it. I remember um, too, like it led like, to like this, uh, like big conversation we had. I'm like, well, no, I, I, cause I remember, I don't even, think, I don't even think it was my word. It was, I was like, and like, it was implied that he died, but I don't know if he actually like died. And then you had to be like, and then you're telling me like, no, no, he didn't die. He comes back. But I was like, yeah, no, but like he had acid, like poured like down his ears. I don't, I don't, th I don't think he can't, I don't think he comes back, AJ. And then, but you like saw the show up. We were like having like a debate about it type of thing. Like, I was like, no, there's no way yeah. he comes back. Like, like, he died in that episode. If you asked the writer of that episode at the time, did Simeon die? They would have been like, yeah, of course. <laughs> and then he just kind of comes back and no one questions it. And then I was like, yeah, that's, you were like, that's, that's the gotta be the worst example in Ben. I'm like, it is, but there's one that's pretty close. And well, it's also crazy. Cause Simeon was like, he just didn't show up for like multiple seasons. Like, he dies and then just doesn't come back for multiple seasons, and then he comes back. He's like, hey, guys, what's up? And everyone just, like, acts like he's been here the whole time. Um, but you say this one might there's be... Another... <laughs> you this, this, one this one's be... a close second. This one's a close second because um, Zombozo here, he literally blows up. He dies. Like, he, he's dead. He blows himself up. And then I told Owen, uh, he's, like, three minions, the acid breath... Um, um, thumb skull and uh, hair lady and, and no, just lady, lady as Owen describes him. Um, uh, uh, they come uh, and they, they come back and they treat Zombozo like he's dead. You know, they they like whenever they talk about Zombozo, they treat him like he's dead. Whenever anyone talks about Zombozo, they treat him like he's dead. He doesn't come back for the the rest of the original Ben Ten. He doesn't come back for Alien Force. He comes back in Ultimate Alien, which is 
season one, season two, season three, season four, season one, season two, season three. He comes back in um, fucking eight seasons from now. That would be like in yellow. Since we're watching Yellow Jackets right now, um, you know they, they just did the funeral for like Travis, um, and like uh, you know actually I'll give a bigger example. That'd be like in Yellow Jackets. You know you, you clearly saw Travis died. He caught him. Well, we don't know about that, but, you know, he got Han and everything like that. That would be just like, you know, just like if he just decide, randomly comes back, like, the end of the season or whatever like that. Like, he just comes back and, like, no one talks about it. They just treat him like he's been alive the whole time, you know? Oh, my, this would be like, like, tomorrow. Hitler shows up and he's like, hey, guys, what's up? I've been here the whole time. Oh, yeah, he'd still be like, alive, I guess, yeah. yeah. Well, no, he, he wouldn't. That's the point. Well, he'd no, be, like, really fucking old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's just, like, it's insane. Like, Zomboza was definitely dead. Everyone treats him like he's dead. And he just shows up eight seasons from now. And no one questions it. Um, yeah. Again, Zomboza literally blows himself up. So I'm like, yeah, no, he's definitely dead. But, uh, no, he just comes back anyway. <laughs> um, so that's, a, that's another one on the, uh... And that's probably the worst offender so far on the list because we can't. We can't oh, can't. easily. Again, Simeon and Zombos are like the number one and number two of like, they should fucking be dead. Yeah, but we can't add Simeon yet because we haven't seen that episode yet. Right, right. Oh, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's. And then, um, after, after the Ghost Freak fight with Zombozo, but again, I like how easy the fight was. Like, I like that pretty much once Ben, like, conquered his fear, the fight was easy. Like, Ben made short work of him. And, um, you know, like I said, I like that Ghost Freak took over and, like, tormented him. Uh, Zombos was getting his, a taste of his own medicine. It was really fun, you know? Yeah. Because um, he was, like, tormenting Ben with the Hall of Mirrors, so him, Ben tormenting him, Ben. Um, and, again, it's kind of hinting at that, like, there's something Ben should be more afraid of than Zombozo. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Um... um but then after that, the episode wraps up pretty quickly. There's like one minute left. Uh, we pretty much just get uh, Max, Ben, and Gwen are in the, in the rust bucket again. They're on the road. Um, you well, know, they're happy that Ben's here. Huh? Well, wrap it up. We forgot a counter, by the way. Oh, yeah, the rub, rust bucket damage. Yeah, you're right. So, um, yeah, because car, because the writers of the show hate cars, apparently. They're like, I fucking hate cars. <laughs> Yeah. Let's have one destroyed in, in Ben 10. Um, the Rust Bucket got damaged twice in Hunted, and, uh, you know, Max took it off the road and it got damaged in this episode. So that's three on the uh, car damage in Ben 10 so far. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. I actually started that counter because I'm like, how many times have the Rust Bucket been destroyed? I guess those two times in uh, Hunted, like, left enough of an impression on me because, like, they haven't been, that's the only. Yeah. It's only been destroyed three times so far. But I was like, ah, oh, you might yeah. as well just start. It's also time. funny because you've seen bits of the show later on. So you're probably remembering that, like, the writers fucking hate cars later on in the show. Because it becomes a running joke that, like, the Rust Bucket and, like, Kevin's car get, like, constantly destroyed. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. Yes. Um, but yeah, the last scene of the show, uh, of the episode, that's <laughs> a show. Um, Gwen, like, pops out with a clown mask to try to scare Ben, and Ben's like, oh, hi, Gwen, is that your new makeup? Yeah, it was funny. Anyway, that's that's pretty much all Gwen did this episode. Uh, we're gonna keep roasting Gwen in season one. She's fucking just there. Yeah, really um, um, Yeah. I mean, she's good to get kicked out. Well, she becomes one of my favorite characters later on in the show. But season one, she does jack shit besides get kidnapped and almost die. I mean, I'll say this. I'm used to the voice actor now. Remember, like, in the beginning of episode one when we first... Yeah, you were more used to, like, her teenage voice, yeah. So I didn't really like her voice acting, like, in the beginning, you know, because I wasn't used to it and all that type of stuff. Um, Yeah. I will say, I think the Um, voice acting got better, though, like, as time went along and everything like that. Then again, we'll also, like, I don't know, we'll see... Well, uh, okay... This is where, uh, never mind. I was about to say, like, we'll also see in this, like, episodes later, but I forgot, like, this is put out. But I'm, I'm thinking production order. No, I'm thinking airing order, not production order. I'm, like, all fucked yeah. up. I thought, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Uh, well, it's weird. Remember, like, Max's voice was, like, super weird in permanent retirement? Yeah, yeah. So that was probably, like, one of the first episodes they recorded, you know? Yeah. Like, probably didn't, like, finish animating it. Yeah. 
Uh, because Max had like a what, like a southern accent that whole episode. He doesn't in any other episode. Yeah, that was weird. Um, yeah, yeah. But the episode ends. Um, I I love it. You know, great episode. Definitely one of the best in season one. Uh, not like the best, but probably top five in season one. Um, you know, good one-off episodic one. Uh, you know, I thought Ben's arc in this episode conquering his fear. Like I said, I think this is early enough in the show where his fear of clowns makes sense. Um, you know, and he's only a 10 year old kid. Um, the circus freaks are kind of like whatever, like they're not a big deal. Like again, Ben beats them pretty easily. Uh, Zombozo is a fun villain. I like that. He's not like all that tough. Like yeah. he mainly gets by like his creepy on like taking everyone on acid trips and like sucking souls. Yep. Like again, once Ben like conquers his fear of him, he's um he's beaten pretty quickly. Um, I like Max's like story to Ben, like how he tells him about how he used to be afraid of heights. Um, the visuals were definitely like the highlight, you know, probably the best visuals so far, like you said. Um, and the Ghost Freak fight was great, maybe the best fight so far in the show. I agree. Uh, that one or the last fight in Hunted. Was uh, were all really good. I like yeah, that. that was really good. Is it's like yeah, um, yeah. Um, well, I like this one because it's like so one sided. Again, like Ben really fucks up Zombozo. Like Zombozo never stood a chance. Right, especially uh, too because of what it leads to later on too. So you know. Yeah, exactly. This is a big hint for uh, the Ghost Freak thing, which is a big part of Ben Ten. Yeah. So uh, I really like it. I think we gave um, Hunted an A. I'm going to give this one an A-. minus. I really like it. Definitely one of the top five of season one. Now, you would think... Um, I'm going to go all different types of places with my letter grades because it changed throughout this, uh, you know, review. Because uh, sometimes that happens. Yeah. Um, we mean this a lot, but, like, a lot of it was, like, stupid shit. Like, there, there aren't any, like, major plot holes in this episode, I don't think. Aside from, like, where did they know where Zombozo was going? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, everything you said... I really liked, you know, um, obviously really liked the fights. I really liked the visuals. I really liked, uh, you know, obviously the big ghost week hint at the end. Um, I liked, you know, Ben having a call with his fear, Max's speech. Um, you know, so I'll give it uh, an A- minus on that. But that's what I'm starting. This review was awesome, though. Sometimes when I, you know, the reviews make the episode sometimes for me because, like, I'm going <laughs> to go back and remember, like, what I said about it and everything like that, like... Uh, that happens a lot, so it goes up, it go, it, it moves up to an A, um, then it goes back down. <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. No, there's more. Uh, the, then it goes back down to an A minus because uh, Zambozo comes back later on. I know that's like later on shit, but like had Zambozo not come back, the review itself would have just made it an A. But you know, Zambozo coming back makes it an A minus. If he did. yeah, honestly, I kind of again, that's not really this episode's fault, but like I do agree. I think this would have been, you know, because this is like Ghost Freak and like showing how violent he is. Him, like, actually dying here, I think, would have been more impactful. Yeah. But, you know, uh... Be... That was definitely the writer's intent. Like, they wrote this episode, like, Zombozo dies. Like, Ben basically kills him. Yeah. But, you know, um, uh, and... you have to be punished for putting back Zombozo, and that this is that's your... Mm-hmm. I mean, all that, all that happened is you just went back to the grade you started on, so it's like you got really punished. So. Like, hey, listen, hey, minus you up in the scoff at. <laughs> um... I make it seem like I'm punishing them. I'm like, oh, we still got an A minus, yay! Yeah, no, uh, right. And it's an also a. like twenty. <laughs> could have been an A though. Could have been an A. I know, right? Could have been, been as good as Hunter, but not quite. Actually, funny thing is, I would have been we uh, us memeing on it made it almost made it an A. So it's like it was really us yeah, that got it to yeah, the A. It's a really fun one, yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm, I I want to I want to spin off on Zombozo. How the fuck does he finance his circus? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, again, I'm really looking forward to next episode is Kevin Eleven. Uh, we're introduced to one of the like most important characters in the show. Yeah. Um, and well, this lines up good with Danny Phantom bit of reunions. Yeah. Um, unfortunately it doesn't line up with Blue Spirit with Avatar like we wanted it to, but. Yeah, that would have been a great, cause that's like a big Zuko episode. Yeah, that would have been perfect. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But, you know, uh, yeah, overall, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, anything you want to plug and promote before we sign off of here? Uh, Putz pause. I still haven't made anything, and I've been kind of busy. But uh, you know, hopefully I'll upload something eventually. Uh, obviously, for our stuff, you know, check out Owen the Talkinator. I uh, uploaded a, um, a ton of stuff uh, recently. I uploaded Hunted. I uploaded 
you know, for the Ben 10 with you, I uploaded, uh, uh, kiss this, uh, you know, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry <laughs> in this episode. Sorry. Um, and then, um, I uploaded, uh, yellow jackets bear down with you. So definitely check out, uh, all of those episodes, uh, less than fortune 44, AJ and I, um, have been, you know, doing GMO with a couple of my friends and everything like that. We're putting that back. Uh, I don't know exactly when they'll be out. At some point, uh, you know, AJ and I, a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, uh, recorded uh, us doing like a Let's Play of Spongebob Battle for the Kino Bottom. We hydrated. I haven't gotten around to really editing yet just because like just been busy lately with doing videos like this and other things. So, uh, you know, um, probably like once my computer class gets over, I'll be able to get back into like editing it again and everything like that. Um and then, uh, obviously, other stuff on uh, Lost in Forge of 44 you can check out. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And since it's being recorded in the past, we will talk to you guys in the future. Bye-bye.